Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Toke Moments. My name is Toke Makingwa. This week, I took out the time to do this video to appreciate every single woman out there. Um, of late, you know, I've been seeing a lot of messages, you know, seminars, um, talks, um, you know, just different advice coming from different angles uh, towards the women. And, you know, it got me feeling a certain type of way. Not like we, I don't appreciate the fact that people are out there trying to look out for young girls or speak against certain things that could sort of derail people as time passes. But I just feel like, you know, life is hard enough as it is. Being a woman in this sort of society, being a woman in the world today is extremely hard. It's one of the hardest things that you can even begin to fathom. And I think that it's hard for us because a lot of us do not even know our place and know the power that we carry. I think the world knows how powerful uh, the female gender is. And for that reason alone, there's a lot of you know, people trying to tell you, society will say, live your life. Same society will say, don't do it like that. You know, you find out that it's crazy enough to deal with all the misconceptions and all the, and you, it's just, it's just crazy sometimes. You just want to yell and just be like, shut the fuck up. You know, and then one thing I also particularly find really disturbing is women who are being unnecessarily hard on other women. The world as it is, is hard on women. As a woman, there's no need for you to be hard on another female. There's no need for you to, you know, in the bid of trying to make yourself feel good or feel better, put another woman down. You know, you find people that are always quick to say, oh, she did her face, oh, she did her body. And it's the women that even tell these tales the most. A lot of guys sit back and watch us tear ourselves down so much. It's heartbreaking. You know, instead of you to say, that woman is fake. You don't even know what she's going through. You don't know what the life she's had to live. You don't know why she's had to make the decisions she's had to make to get to where she is today. And I always say this, this is one thing that I always share with everyone. It's okay for you not to understand someone else's journey, but it's your duty to respect it. Do you know what I mean? It's your duty to respect that woman's journey. I'm sure if you look into your life as well, there's certain things about you that people around might not understand and might be quick to want to criticize or judge. I just feel like the world is hard enough on women. She's a bad mom. She wears so many short skirts. Oh, she's a flirt. Oh, she's a homebreaker. Oh, she's a whore. Oh, she's this. We leave ourselves with all these labels. And it's like, do you not see what you're doing? You know, yeah, you're trying to say this person is living a fake life or this person is doing this for other people's gratification. How do you know? Do you now? Do you? God, no go vex. Do you and do your own on your own lane. Let her do what works for her. Just because you don't understand her vibe or what she does does not make it seem like what she does is wrong. A woman will put up a video shaming another woman's body type. I don't understand this. In my mind, I'm thinking, really? Are you serious right now? If a guy did that, we'll be the first to scream blue murder. Like, why is a guy talking like this or saying this or saying that? But you as a woman, you're not perfect. You know, the world needs a little bit more empathy, in my opinion. I think you're beautiful. I think you're smart. I think the world is your oyster. I think you're great at what you do. Even if you don't know what it is you want to do yet, even if you find yourself being stuck, even if you feel like you're not pretty, even if you feel like the world is against you, sometimes you just need to chill and snap out of it. Sometimes you put yourself under so much pressure as a result of all the things that you hear. And I know some people will think I'm so strong. I don't care about what people say about me. But sometimes those little negative words or negative actions or those little things begin to fetch in to your closed doors that you think are unbreakable. You know, if you look at the holy book, when you talk about Noah, for instance, you know, Noah built an ark. Everyone just looks at it and thinks, yeah, Noah built an ark, haha, ha, move on, let's go and do something else. But he built an ark amidst so much criticism. Like, people walked by the ark every day and thought he was crazy because it didn't look like it was going to rain. And people would look at him and think, you're mad. You're literally out here building this ark and there's no rain. He hasn't rained in years. Are you crazy? And he kept on doing it. And even when he built the ark and the rain came down, the later part of Noah's life, he became a drunk. It could be as a result of all those negativity, the words, all the things that people had said to him. And, you know, when it all happened and it was all said and done, he thought he was strong, but he found himself drinking too much. So you need to take care of yourself as a woman, take care of your mental health, 
you know just completely do you rock the boat that you find yourself in it's your boat okay no one might be able to understand why you're dancing so much or they might not be able to hear your music but as long as you hear it you're not mad you know and move around in your pace love yourself even if the world is finding new ways to tell you how to indirectly telling you not to but you know what just do you just live for you and you know as a woman out there do something nice for another woman this week you know, I thought, let's just stop talking about crazy topics and actually talk about this. Do something incredibly nice for another woman. Listen to her. Share that burden. See how you can help. See how you can point her in the right direction without judging. You know, all the Georginas of this world, you judge like you don't sin. You judge like your life is perfect. If we could take a torchlight now and look into your life, we'll probably find you crying every night before you go to bed. We'll probably find you also being lost and, you know, unsure of your journey, just like that woman is not sure of where she's going. And instead of you to be a bit compassionate, you're out there throwing the, you know, darts at every single move she makes. And you're out there trying to criticize her. So many sermons women to women empowerment talking about what you think women should be doing oh we, our man is married oh in this yes she did this she did so fuck what like let us leave man so what if you're married and i'm not married so what if she's married and she's not married or so what if she's divorced and if she's just trying to hold on to her mind like can we just be kind to one another like all these sermons you give to women i wish you would take out the time to talk to men that way it's only women you say are living fake lifestyles what about the guys what about you using your platform to also shed, shed light into the things that guys are doing and talk to the men why must you come down so hard on women i'm sick and tired of it i don't even want to hear it like anytime i find all those funny messages i just pass immediately pass it like Come on, chill. Take a chill pill, you know? Women have had enough. And this is why we're where we are today because you find so many women trying to raise so many women. They leave the guys and they don't raise the guys. And the guys walk around this life acting like they own it and acting like, you know, the world is basically where they can do as they please. You know, a lot of women will try and shame another woman just to sound like they're cool with the guys. You want the guys to think you're woke. You want the guys to think, yeah, she's such a... She has such a good head on her shoulder. I mean, you shame another woman because you want the guys to give you thumbs up. I mean, man, nah. I wanted to swear right now, but I'm working on swearing. So I hope you feel beautiful. I hope this video makes you feel relaxed. I hope you feel that, you know, it's a process. If you fail today, you can try tomorrow. If tomorrow also doesn't work out, there's another day. Every day you open your eyes, you've been given a brand new opportunity and a brand new, you know, slate to write whatever it is you want to write. Make it good, make it fun, and make it memorable. Love you guys. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter. I am a toaster with a double R. See you next week.